In a bid to identify the challenges and opportunities in the tourism and travel industry, the World Economic Forum has advised African countries with tourism potentials to consider diversification. Reacting to a question from Plus TV Africa's favor, Mokai, AU Commissioner for Infrastructure and Energy, Dr. Amani Abu Zaid, the economic impact, uh, says the economic impact of COVID-19 is a lesson for nations to diversify. Um, we have on the line, I think, uh, Favor Omakai from Plus TV Nigeria. Uh, Favor, you have a question. Okay, uh, greetings from Nigeria. Um, my question is directed to Dr. Amani Abouze. Well, let's talk about African countries that rely heavily on uh, the tourism sector, the tourism industry, whereabouts. In, for example, South Africa, we have like about nine. 0.2% of jobs that come from based on tourism. What recommendations would you give to those countries as to keeping a balanced economy at least post COVID-19? Actually, the, your question goes beyond just tourism. For countries relying on one source of revenue, I mean, here you talk about countries having relying heavily on tourism, such for instance, uh, such as our many of our island states. Uh, we have countries that rely heavily on. Uh, 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 oil revenues. Uh, uh, so the reliance on one sector uh, uh, is not something that, that should continue. I mean, I think the big lesson we have learned, uh, or the lessons, two things, diversification in the sources of income and revenues for a country. That's essential. Uh, two is a, 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 a upgrade and innovation. You cannot keep doing things uh, now uh, or post COVID-19 as you've done them three months ago. And that's why I made earlier the comment regarding digitalization. And this goes to all sectors. So we must understand that this is the new norm, that the world is not going back. This is very important as well. 